Hi artists. Do you remember what a pattern is? We're going to be talking about patterns again this week. What is a pattern? If you're saying a line or a shape or a design that repeats over and over and over again, you're right. So I want to introduce you to an artist. You might have heard of her before. Her name is Yayoi Kusama, and she is an artist who was born in Japan. She lived in the United States for a while, but she's back living in Japan now. And she's a painter, and she loves patterns, specifically patterns that include dots. That's one of her big passions. So you can see this is a photograph of her standing in front of one of her paintings and look at all of the different patterns that she used in these different shapes. So she was born a long time ago in 1929, which means that she is 92 years old now. And I'm going to show you some more of her paintings. Can you see all of the dots? She's definitely very inspired by dots. Here's a photo of her inside of an installation, like sculptures that she's made. She has this um, one on the top left that look like pumpkins. A lot of her artwork are exhibited in museums that you can walk into these spaces and experience three-dimensional sculptures and paintings with so many really amazing patterns. So Yayoi Kusama is a great name to know, and she might inspire you in your artwork that you're going to create this week. So I'm going to play this tutorial for you and kind of talk along with it. You're going to be creating an artwork that has lots of different patterns, and I have this picture off to the side with some different pattern ideas to inspire you. So, here, showing my sketchbook, my Sharpie, and my colored pencils. And later on, I get out my watercolor paints, so you might want to have those also. And I'm just starting with a dot in the center and then drawing some lines going out to the side of the page. So that's three lines. There's no exact number that you need to have. Um, the more lines you have, the smaller the spaces will be. I think I had seven lines there. And now inside each shape, I'm deciding what kind of pattern I want to draw with my Sharpie inside that space. So this is kind of an alternating diagonal line pattern. So I have one line and then I have two little lines and I have one line and then two close together lines. So that's that pattern. And then in the next space, oh, I'm gonna do a polka dot pattern. I think I was inspired by Yayoi Kusama. And making some dots. Hmm, I wonder what I'm gonna do in this next space. Oh, some diagonal lines. Oh, and a vertical line. Oh, like a checkerboard. You might be inspired by the patterns that I'm using in mine, or you might want to use completely different patterns. It will be your call. So this is like a like scales, a scale pattern. And what am I going to do in this space? Ooh, a zigzag line. And then I have one more space left. And I had some trouble coming up with an idea. I wasn't sure what I wanted to make here. So you can see that I'm paused. I'm thinking, huh, what do I want to add? Hmm. And then the idea came to me. I thought, oh, I will draw a diamond and I will draw bigger diamonds going around it. So this is called concentric, which means when you start smaller and you get bigger going out, so concentric diamonds there. Now it's time to add some color. So I'm gonna pick out my colors of my color pencils. And I thought I wanted, you know, some blues and purples. Grab the orange. And I'm gonna get a yellow. And I'm just gonna start adding some color to my patterns. 
using my colored pencils. So I'm filling in the dots with purple. And I decided to keep it consistent within each shape to use similar colors to keep that a pattern. So right now I have a pattern of purple circles. And then I'm gonna fill in the background with yellow. And now I start speeding up the video because otherwise this video would be like a million years long. So I am coloring in with my colored pencils and now I'm moving on to my next space. And something interesting happens in this one. I get a little bit messed up with my pattern of checkerboard squares. So I wanted them to alternate and then I realized, whoops, that got a little messed up. But I said, you know what, that's okay. I'm going to overlap with a darker color. I'm gonna beautiful oops it so it won't be a problem. So, and in fact, layering different colors on top of each other looks really nice. So that worked out well. That was an accident, but I made it a beautiful oops. And then my hand got tired and I thought, I wanna switch to watercolor paints because my hand is cramping up. So you're gonna decide what color method, what do you want to use to add color to your pattern artwork? Do you wanna use color pencils or do you prefer watercolor paint? Either one is okay. I don't recommend the oil pastels for this because your spaces are going to be really tiny and the oil pastels are pretty chunky. So I would pick either color pencils or watercolor paint. So I'm painting in each space with different colors. And again, this is sped up. I'm not really working this quickly. I'm gonna take your time. I let it dry and now I'm going back in with the colored pencils on top to add a little bit more color and to fill in some white spaces and just kind of make those shapes stand out a little bit more. You're also gonna see me using the Sharpie to outline on top of the lines to make those a little bit darker where the paint kind of covered it up a little bit. So adding in all of the color And finishing it up. And then when it is done, oops, you are going to share it on Seesaw. So when you click the add response button, you will take a picture of it and place it right here in this frame. And then you'll make a video talking about what your favorite part of your artwork is and place your video inside this golden frame and then submit it to me. Uh, back on this lesson slide, there are four bonus videos that are just for fun. These, um, this song and this song are both by Scratch Garden and I really love these videos. Um, they're super fun. So you might enjoy watching them uh, to learn about uh, different kinds of patterns. There is also a story about Yayoi Kusama that you might enjoy listening to. And then there's another story called Pitter Pattern, and you might enjoy hearing that story about patterns. So those are there as options, bonus videos, um, just for fun. I can't wait to see the pattern artwork that you create this week. Bye.